How's it going? Welcome back to the Dead Cell stream. Uh, today is part two of looking at the version 2.0 beta. And as I told you guys last time, there is a new weapon in the version 2.0 beta. And so we're going to be looking at that today. It is uh, really weird, actually. It's called the Barrel Launcher. And it launches an explosive barrel. Um, yeah, I don't know what kind of drugs Motion Twin was on when they came up with this one, but here it is. Um, it reminds me a lot of Explosive Crossbow, except the explosion's actually a lot bigger, so it's more explosive than the Explosive Crossbow. Uh, so that's something. Um, yeah, it is also very weird in that it gives you critical hits if the barrel bounces off the wall. Or, if the enemy... So here's another thing about this weapon. The enemy can reflect the barrel back at you, and it will hurt if the enemy hits you with it. Uh, but then if you reflect it back at the enemy again, then it's going to get a crit. So you can either ping pong it to get a crit, or you can bounce it off a wall to get a crit. Um, so, uh, it's pretty strange. It is brutality and tactic scaling, so that's quite good for a ranged weapon. There's not that many brutality scaling ranged weapons. But um, the weird thing about this weapon, it actually really struggles against rats. And other small critters right in front of you. Because first of all, it's slow. So, never really a good thing, but I mean, it has range and power to make up for it. But... The rats are so short, it actually goes right over the rats' heads. So, ideally, like, you know, I've been kind of trying to figure out, like, what would you want to run with this weapon to, like, actually synergize with it? And I was stumped for a pretty long time. God, he reflected it right back at me. You see that? The Inquisitor's shot reflected the barrel back at me. So that's... It's something, like I was saying. Um... And, I mean, you can take a shield. How? Like, he just doesn't give a crap that I'm hitting him with these barrels. He doesn't give a crap that I'm hitting him with anything. What's going on here? That's kind of weird. But, yeah. It, it flies over the rats at close range. Not fun. So, what this weapon needs, basically... Dude, I can't deal with these guys with this combo. This is bad. Um, so it's slow, it excels when the enemy is further away from you, because if they're too close, then the barrel's going to fly over their head, uh, and it's very powerful. So what goes well with this is, believe it or not, the Spartan Sandals, <laughs> of all things. And the reason for that, I mean, like I said, uh, you need something quick for when an enemy's on top of you. Spartan Sandals are quick. Uh, you need something that can hit a short enemy that's in front of you. Spartan Sandals can handle that. Not only that, the Spartan Sandals actually kicks them away. So then you can follow up with the Barrel Launcher. Reset your range, kind of in a similar way to like a Wave of Denial, Explosive Crossbow type thing that I kind of showcased last run. So, um, yeah, we'll see how this works. Uh, I have no idea if this weapon, like the Barrel Launcher, is good or not. Spartan sandals are a very love it or hate it type weapon. They're like good. They're very good in many situations, and they're also very not good in other situations. So maybe taking the sandals in a secondary role like this will help them to excel. Ooh. So first of all, I need to switch these. So melee is on X. That's just what I'm used to. And can't let that rat get so close. Because I can't hit him with the barrel launcher. Or if I do, I need to at least use the right attack against him, like I was saying. The Spartan Sandals should have no problem handling him. But, um, one thing I will say about the Spartan Sandals. They are so fun. Like, nothing's more fun than going into a room of extremely deadly monsters and kicking all of them to death. It's just like... Well, you know, the island, the castle, it's all infested by zombies. It's all over unless one man can go in there and kick all the zombies to death. So that's what we're going to try to do today. Let's kick them. 
or shoot him with bazooka. We have A, our ability to kick him, and we have B, a bazooka. And these weapons are roughly equally effective. I never said Dead Cells was the most realistic game ever created. It's fun though. So we're gonna continue exploring the uh, new soundtrack today too. So we'll take a different route than we did last time. And I think I've already, oh, I've already gotten everything out of here. There's a chest over there. I wanna go promenade today though, because we didn't go promenade last time. Need to be able to show off that soundtrack, you know? It's a free chest. I'm not gonna say no. But yeah, um, Spartan Sandals, I mean, I haven't really talked that much about them in the past. They've been around for a long time. They've undergone a lot of changes. They actually were slightly buffed in 1.9, but not anything that really made a huge difference. The main thing about the Spartan Sandals is that their actual combo doesn't really do a lot of damage. Uh, you need to get most of your damage from either kicking the enemy off a cliff, and then that enemy will take a bunch of fall damage, or you kick them into a wall and they take damage from that. And both uh, methods work pretty well, uh, in biomes at least. They work very well in biomes, for, as a matter of fact, but against bosses, like Hand of the King, he really doesn't want to get kicked away from you, you know, he's so resistant to CC, etc. Uh, it just doesn't work that well. Um, like, against the giant, you're never going to kick him into a wall. You're never going to kick him off a cliff. So, like Mama Tick, kind of a similar thing. But it's just so weird, like, his shield seems to be immune to these barrels. Like, am I doing something wrong? Maybe this is an oversight in the beta. Regardless, all I have to do is, you know, roll behind him, but... Just kind of strange that, like, most weapons are supposed to be able to get that shield to break at some point. But, it's like, okay, well, I can't break it with my foot. I also can't break it with a bazooka. What can I break it with? Kind of strange. Are we almost to the promenade? Anyway, uh, Barrel Launcher. Let's get back to the new weapon here, because I'm sure a lot of you already know a lot about Spartan Sandals. Uh, they are kind of weak, but the Barrel Launcher is really powerful, and the crit damage in particular on Barrel Launcher is, like, just insanely high. It's like Scythe Claws level high damage, and... You don't see that. I, it's the highest of any range weapon, first of all. I'll just go ahead and put that out there. Um, but, you know, this weapon... F first of all, you can't always bounce your barrels off of a wall. That's just an unrealistic expectation to have. I think we will go with Berserker still. That's another thing about Spartan Sandals. Oh, I should have gotten gone back and gotten that uh, croissant in the last stage there. But another thing about the Spartan Sandals is that they just don't deal a lot of damage on their own. Like, it gets the damage from the fall, etc. So, it doesn't really pair well with stuff like Frenzy, where the amount of damage that you do is what decides how much HP you recover. Or similarly with uh, Adrenaline, which operates on the same concept. So, um, but Berserker is just like, you have to hit him with a melee attack. That's it. That's the only requirement. So, we can do that. Uh, we are gonna be kicking a lot of zombies today. That guy just got kicked right off a cliff. And it's just, it's it can be hilarious. I really, I mean, he's in a shield, but I'm just gonna kick him right out of that. <laughs> oh man, it is a blast. But like I said, it only really works well against certain bosses. This is not an unshowcased run like I was trying to do with the Ice Crossbow. So I'll actually be taking this weapon into the bosses that it's tolerable against. Like Timekeeper. So, so like if you path well with this weapon, it can be okay. Uh, it, it works pretty well against Timekeeper. It works pretty well against Concierge. 
is going to be bad against Hand of the King. But hopefully Barrel Launcher can make up for that. I've never fought Hand of the King with Barrel Launcher before, so I don't know if he's going to just be reflecting all of my shots into me and killing me. That would be pretty sad, but we'll see. And it's like, you can see his health bar is just not going anywhere, and then the second he touches that wall, it's all over. But it's like, I guess I could take a dual bind with this. You know, if I was playing tactics, or even without tactics, even as brutality, I could take ice shards with it. But I don't know. I don't know if this is the best weapon for ice shards, or even if it is, it's like everything's good with ice shards. Like, how much of that is really the barrel launcher being good, and how much of it is just ice shards? Um, could probably take uh, firebrands with it too, like any kind of a dual bind setup, or just use a shield. But um, I don't know. This is like one of the few weapons where I feel like Spartan Sandals really does well in a support role. Uh, you can also kind of do Fire Blast with Spartan Sandals. You can take Alchemic Carbine as a main hand with Spartan Sandals. Those work kind of well. But using Spartan Sandals as an offhand is just kind of advantageous because then if you run into one of the bosses where Spartan Sandals just really doesn't work, which can happen depending on your route, then you've got another weapon to deal with them. And sure, that means you d you have to sacrifice the shield for that, but it can be worth it still. So can we get slowed down or burning oil? You know, I think I'm actually fine right now with what we have. Let's just keep, keep on keeping on. Stun Grenade. I actually really like Stun Grenade now that it's uh, cooldown is down to 12 seconds. It was a weapon that was really bad before 1.9, but now it's quite good, um, especially if you've got Heart of Ice. We're playing Brutality today, so I don't have Heart of Ice, so we'll leave that for another time. Boom, I mean, that... That totem guy, the protector or whatever, the guy who generates those shields, the voodoo doll dude, like he's staked into the ground and I just kicked him right off the cliff anyway. That stake could not handle these sandals. Promenade is probably one of my favorite songs on the new 8-bit soundtrack. Uh, overall, I still think the old soundtrack is is definitely better. After these beta showcase runs, I'll be going back to the regular soundtrack for sure. Um, not to say the 8-bit soundtrack is bad. I just really, I liked the old one. But this might be one of the few examples where I actually think it's better in 8-bit. I don't know, it's got like a peaceful, it, all, it almost, oh my god, the parry! He parried my barrel into me. And that's just like the wild card with this weapon. Like it, it's quite a competent weapon, and you can play it with brutality, so you actually have HP. But then that just happens sometimes, and it's like, okay, maybe if I was just like a super god with this weapon, like I should have seen that coming and been ready to kick that barrel right back at him. But um, for me, a total noob with this weapon, I'm just like, huh. okay. Uh, I was not even close to ra- oh, why didn't I take that last rating aura? It poisoned the enemy on hit. It was so good. Oh well. We'll be fine with what we have. Alright, so let's grab us a new pair of sandals. All these- all this kicking- ooh, poisons the enemy. See, the actual damage from the sandals itself doesn't matter that much. Uh, because you get all the damage from kicking them into the wall, etc. Instead of, like, from the actual weapon. But then if you can get bonus utility, like poisoning the enemy, then why... And <laughs> God, that's just some of the funny stuff that can happen with this. Because it also reflects grenades. It doesn't reflect normal projectiles. But it will reflect grenades. And, uh... 
That guy just happened to shoot a grenade right as I was kicking him. Didn't go well for him. And like I said, this weapon sucks against Hand of the King, and it does. So I'll be using the barrel launcher to do all of my damage against that boss, but at least I can kick the grenades back into him. And you can kick pretty fast. Like, he throws a ton of grenades, and he throws them real fast, but uh, I think I should be able to kick most, if not all, of them away before I need to run. We'll, we'll see how it actually goes. This is another thing. I, I feel like I say that too much, but, you know, I just... There's too much stuff in this game to, like, know exactly how everything is going to pan out every time. That thing still isn't dead. Whew! Man, I thought he might reflect that at me. And the sandals actually destroy elites, too. It's kind of tough when you got this much other stuff going on, though. And you can't get him to a wall. So I wasn't really able to show it off there, but but it does. It destroys elites. Eventually in this run, you will see it happen. Uh, this is not a free shop room, so we're not going to waste our time going in here. Prison Depths. For the sake of speeding up the run, again, normally I choose to either go to one of the prison biomes that are optional, or go to High Peak Castle, because technically, if you fight the giant... High Peak Castle is also optional. But we're going to be showing off the uh, new biome again today, which is the distillery. This time with the barrel launcher, which is a very important weapon in the biome. So because of that, I'm taking that extra time in the run. That means that I will not be going to a prison biome. And it's going to cost us a little bit early on with our scroll count. It's going to make it just a little bit low, but we should manage, I hope. We're Brutality, we got HP. Having a low scroll count on something like Tactics is when I might get myself killed. <laughs> oh yeah, they have teams inside the harbor. Oh, anyway. I like through a wall. Let's get out of here. We're going to go to Ramparts, because uh, I actually haven't even heard that song on 8-bit yet. And that was always a pretty good song in the regular game, I thought. So let's check it out. Did get the 60 kill door. I'm not sure if that's the barrel launcher or the Spartan sandals. Uh, honestly, it's probably a combination of both. Love powerful grenade. Cluster grenade's good too. Um, but powerful grenade just really, it doesn't give you quite the coverage, but even in biomes, the cooldown being shorter, the damage being better, it's more effective against a cluster of enemies than the cluster grenade. Um, and it's also much better against bosses. You could go open wounds? My sandals are more effective against bleeding. Hmm. I probably need some better affixes on my barrel launcher at some point. Melee might. You know what? I, I know I want soldier resistance at some point. So we'll just go ahead and take it now. I feel like my HP is kind of low. And there's not... You know, you're taking like a ranged weapon with brutality. Sometimes you don't always have the best mutation options. And that's kind of the trade-off for having the extra HP as brutality. Because it's like, sure... You can take ranged as brutality, and then you have way more HP than you would have if you took it as tactics, but you don't get the benefit of all the awesome tactics mutations. I'm looking at you, support. Way OP. Support is just so god- Alright, this guy's gonna get kicked the fuck out of. Boom! That's some WWE shit right there. Oh my god. Uh, this thing's kind of good. Hmm. Let's just go with some grenades today. <laughs> I kicked him too far. Especially in close quarters, this thing just crushes. And by this thing, I mean the sandals. Oh my god! Not the barrel launcher. 
Barrel launcher crushes in long quarters. I don't think long quarters is the saying. Oh, and these guys, you know, you kick them and then they're flying, so they just fly away instead of taking fall damage. So Spartan Sandals, not the strongest in that particular situation. This is a decent 8-bit jam. I feel like they did pretty well with this one. Okay. It might even have a little more oomph to it than the uh, regular version does. So that's kind of cool. Spartan Sandals can be really nice on a level like Ramparts too, where you're up in a high tower and you can just kick people right off the cliff. Very fun if you can get it to happen. Like maybe with you, see you later. But yes, I mean, I love the sandals. I just don't, I don't think I'd recommend them to like a new player of the game. To like try to beat the game with. Just, we are really, shut, oh my god, okay. I was about to liken myself to Chuck Norris. I think that was probably Chuck Norris's will telling me not to do that. Like, you have not earned this. Just jumping around a castle, kicking crabs. A normal day. So we are going to be fighting Concierge today, yeah, yeah, he's so easy. Um, I know it's kind of a letdown to have to watch that on stream compared to some of the more difficult bosses, but um, Spartan Sandals can do some cool stuff in that fight, so I actually kind of want to show that off. Also I don't go that route often, so it's like, I feel like it's justified just for route diversity to do it once in a while. Whew. So, like, he would have been stun locked against the wall right there. If not for his elite bar coming up from the bottom there. His elite abilities can be a real pain. I think Motion Twin was talking about reworking the way elites worked. So, they were strong in different ways other than just having, like, these weird energy bars. What, like, what even happened to that slasher? Some combination of exploding and getting kicked. Just launching him all over the place. I'm not gonna complain. Like it was, it was good. It's good stuff. Get off my! Oh, okay. He died before I could even kick him off. Got a little hectic there. Oh, you think you're clip? Wow, what is going on with you? But that's it right there. That synergy where like I just kick that guy, bam, there, that too. You kick him and then you shoot the barrel launcher. And like right there, like I couldn't replicate that again in a million years because I actually got the crit because there happened to be a wall right behind where I kicked him. But, um, oh my god, it works is all I'm saying. Spartan Sandals plus Barrel Launcher, so far just 
crushing it in the biomes. I still don't have explored. There it is. And we got two more scrolls to grab. Then we'll get out of here. And kick the boss to death. Or maybe shoot him with a bazooka. It's like both things can be effective, you know? Not trying to disparage the bazooka here. And almost missed this. These things are so hard to see. But that's like <laughs> part of the weird challenge of the challenge rift is that it's like a Where's Waldo game at the same time. Do I have. I do have an extra jump midair. That is good stuff. And I also will. Oh, but if I take this, I lose my extra jump. I'm gonna stick with the extra jump. It's just so useful in some of these challenge rifts. I don't feel like my HP is super high, so I'm just a little worried if I get hit. It might not go incredibly well. Forgot to open the door. I'm just like running right into this door. Oh my god. Really working hard to make this way harder than it needs to be. Another part where it's nice to just have that extra jump. And if you can't tell, my cat just jumped on my lap. And now he is walking across me. <laughs> I hope he doesn't try to sit on my controller. He loves this chair. I feel like he's been... Oh, there it is. He's been mean mugging me all night. Waiting for me to get out of it so that he can sit here and go to sleep. Buddy, we're just going to go sit over here, okay? That's a good boy. Alright. Glad we got that challenge rift, especially because this is a route that has a pretty low number of scrolls, so it'll go a pretty long way to helping me out, honestly. I don't need this. I probably don't need to be throwing both of these barrels together. Or, not barrels. Do I just assume that everything that explodes is a barrel now? Look what you've done to me, Motion Twin. Hmm. There's actually not a teleporter down there? Or maybe just because I haven't revealed it on the map yet, I can't see it. Anyway, it is about concierge o'clock. Let's deal with this guy. Get it over with. For him. Did not get the 60 door. Wow. Let myself down. So now I have to figure out what to take for my, you know, gastronomy is just a really strong, basically colorless mutation. It's not going to give me anything on this boss, but I don't really think I'm going to need anything on this boss. I'll just take it for future biomes, where any piece of food would give me more health. Food that I don't need, I can recycle into more damage. It's always useful. I could have gone combo, too. Combo is just, like, so much more biome-centric. Will this get reflected? Okay, it did. That's good news. All right, buddy, time to get kicked. Oh my god! <laughs> that aura. Honestly, I should have been ready for it. 
But you can see that Spartan Sandals aren't terrible against all bosses. Ooh, he parried that one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Look at that. I got killed by concierge. <laughs> wow. Unreal. Um I want to say that's the first time I've ever gotten killed by concierge. The barrel parry just surprised me so much. Wow. So, um... Hmm. I guess it would have been nice to show... Some more of how this stuff could work. It's pretty late and I might just call this stream. Hmm, man. What a disappointing ending, though. Maybe I'll keep going for a little bit. I can't believe that just happened. I'm even talking about how easy Concierge is going into that. How easy he is with the sandals. He just like wombo comboed me there. I guess we'll proceed. It's almost like my will is just like sapped from dying to concierge. And now I'm just taking hits from stupid stuff. But hey, I mean, I'll take it. I don't really have a lot of on-stream deaths, uh, so this will be uh, something <laughs> something good to put on my YouTube channel, I guess. Uh, I do have my bad moments, for sure. Just kind of rushing now, too. <laughs> oh, man. That would be nice. Heavy turret's super good. Where are we at in this run? So I'll just try to speed run and get back to where we were. We'll see how that speed running goes. If it goes reasonably well, then I'll continue this run. If it doesn't and I like die again or something, then at that point, I might call it. But I'd like to think that what just happened was a, a bit of an anomaly. Um, 
maybe I'm just a little overconfident in myself, but I feel like usually, and, and maybe it's just my unfamiliarity with the barrel launcher. Like him parrying that shot directly played into my death there. Oh my god! Ooh, I thought he was gonna parry that too! I'm having myself a very rough time. Oh my god! I think it's just not meant to be. crap so I guess you know the the weapon seems pretty good admittedly I'm probably using the sandals too much and not really showing off the barrel launcher as much as I should be but I think the problem I have with it is just that it's dangerous you know like Sure, lightning is dangerous, but you can control how dangerous it is. Like, you just get good with the weapon, and then you make sure you don't hold the button down too long. It's just like a skill thing. But, like, against a boss, I feel like I don't always know... Or even a regular enemy, you don't always know the exact moment they're going to attack. And then, if you mess that up, and that attack gets you hit by more attacks, it can be fatal. Like... I'll have to look at that replay because I don't even remember exactly what happened, but I'll, all I know is that I just got owned by Concierge and that <laughs> wasn't something I still thought should be possible for me at this point in my Dead Cells career. Clearly I'm just playing bad. So <laughs> there's an example of the barrel launcher too flying directly over the enemy and getting me killed so at this point um i'm gonna say that i suck with this weapon i think that's pretty obvious just from watching this there will probably be people that tell you that this weapon's good they've buffed it constantly during the beta so um it's probably in a pretty good spot i guess but i just feel like the extra danger from taking this thing, from enemies parrying it, or, I mean, right there, I did play bad to get hit by that bat. But at the same time, the second bat, I shot the barrel directly over him, even though he was right in front of me. Like, you know, I should have kicked him with the sandals. But imagine if you were taking barrel launcher plus shield and you don't have another attack. I guess you can try to parry the bat there, but that's still pretty tough. Anyway, um, thanks for sticking around for my horrific failure. Uh, it had to happen on stream eventually, so uh, at least hopefully we can get some laughs out of this one. This will be a slightly different stream from the rest of uh, the streams that I've had. And uh, hey, thanks for sticking around if you made it this far. Uh, sorry I couldn't show off a few more of... I, I kind of wanted to show off what Barrel Launcher was like in the distillery, but really it's not that interesting. It just lets you take a couple optional routes that basically just let you skip a couple enemies, so it's not that great. And I also wanted to show off how well Spartan Sandals Stunlock Timekeeper, because it's actually really awesome. Uh, it works a lot better against Timekeeper than it does against Concierge, uh, which you can interpret it as at least I probably would die <laughs> against Timekeeper. Like I did against Concierge, but um, anyway, uh, thanks again. I'm just rambling at this point. Um, it was fun anyway. Uh, next run, we're going to try to go with something that I consider a little more powerful. Uh, probably another brutality run, but not going to spoil what that'll be. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.